my memory serves me correctly, it's 66 days, 11 hours, 27 minutes and 18 seconds uh, until the start of the uh, World Cup, well, to the day of it. And uh, one country's place in the tournament is at risk today. FIFA's Appeal Commission is meeting to decide whether Ecuador should be expelled after potentially playing an ineligible player during qualifying. Well, our chief reporter, Carve Solical, as you can see, uh, has joined me now. Right, explain to us exactly what has happened. Look, the World Cup uh, starts in nine weeks' time. The first game is between Qatar and Ecuador. But the big question is, are Ecuador going to be there or are they going to be expelled by FIFA? The whole issue is a player, a right-back called Byron Castillo. Now, he played in eight of Ecuador's World Cup qualifiers. But the question is, is Castillo Ecuadorian or is he Colombian? Because uh, his passport, his official passport, says that he was born in Ecuador in 1998. But there have been claims that he was actually born three years earlier in Colombia. And he's actually Colombian and he should not have played for Ecuador. Now, what happened in April is that the Chile Football Association went to FIFA, complained about the fact that Ecuador were in the World Cup, said Ecuador should be kicked out because Castillo is not Ecuadorian. FIFA looked at all the evidence and they decided, no, the player is actually Ecuadorian, so Ecuador could stay in the World Cup. But Chile FA didn't give up. They went to the FIFA Appeals uh, Commission. That hearing is taking place today. And basically, they have to decide, is this player Ecuadorian or is he Colombian? And if they decide that he's Colombian, of course, that could have serious consequences uh, for Ecuador's participation in the World Cup. OK, so what could FIFA decide to do about this? Well, at the hearing today they could decide to expel Ecuador uh, from the World Cup. Or they could say that the games that were played in qualifying uh, between Ecuador and Chile, those games could be awarded as 3-0 victories to Chile. Now, if they were to expel uh, Ecuador uh, from the World Cup qualifying group, uh, bear in mind that Ecuador finished fourth, so they took the last qualifying place. Now, if they were expelled, the team that finished fifth would take their place in the World Cup. That would be Peru. So, potentially, that would be very good news for Peru. But if FIFA decide that the games between uh, Chile and Ecuador should be 3-0 uh, victories to Chile, that would mean that Chile would move up from seventh to fourth and Chile would uh, take Ecuador's place at the World Cup. So we're going to have to wait and see what this uh, FIFA appeals court decides uh, because depending on what they decide, we could see either Ecuador keep their place or Chile or Peru take their place. And that is not going to be the end of the matter as well because no matter what they decide... Uh, the Chilean FA could, for instance, still go to the Court of Arbitration for sport. So time is running out, but the Chilean FA really not giving up. They're exploring every legal avenue possible to try and prove that Byron Castillo is not Ecuadorian, he's Colombian, he should not have played against them. And for that reason, Chile believe that they should be at the World Cup, kicking off the tournament against Qatar and not Ecuador. Yeah, um, Monday, November the 21st, the date for that. And this ruling could impact uh, a number of players playing in the Premier League and EFL too. Yes, of course, uh, English football is very cosmopolitan. There are players from all over the world. There are quite a few Ecuadorian players uh, playing in the Premier League as well, uh, specifically at Brighton. Uh, they've got three Ecuadorian players. Moses Casiedo, we all know about him. He's been in fantastic form for Brighton. Also, Purvis Estupinen, uh, a recent signing for Brighton. And Jeremy Samiento, those are three players who play for Brighton who are all from Ecuador, who would be playing at the World Cup. Uh, ben Brereton Diaz, Chilean, plays for Blackburn. Potentially, he could get into uh, the World Cup, depending on the decision today. Uh, and also Francisco Siralta at Watford and, of course, very famous Chilean player Alexis Sanchez. 
who used to play for Manchester United and Arsenal, who is now at Marseille. So they will all be waiting eagerly today to find out what FIFA decides.